Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera. Dalam video kali ini, saya akan bincangkan tentang konsep centripetal force dalam topik circular motion. Now, according to Newton's second law, an object can have acceleration. So, satu objek boleh ada acceleration. Dengan syarat, only if there is a net force acted on the object. The relationship between the net force and acceleration is given by the famous equation F net is equals to mass times the acceleration. Now, this net force boleh datang daripada external force push or pull ataupun boleh datang daripada friction on the floor ataupun tension So, sekiranya ada net force pada satu objek, maka the object will accelerate. Itu bagi uh, satu objek yang bergerak lurus. For an object that moves in uniform circular motion, we learn that the object experience an acceleration towards the center. That acceleration is called centripetal acceler, centripetal acceleration. Therefore, saya boleh conclude bahawa since the object that move in circular motion experience centripetal acceleration, therefore the object also experience a net force, and that net force is called centripetal force. And surprisingly, the equation of centripetal force is equals to mass times the centripetal acceler, centripetal acceleration. Centripetal acceleration is not a new kind of force. It's just satu nama khusus yang kita beri bagi net force dalam ataupun pada objek yang bergerak dalam circular motion. Centripetal force is not a force, is a net force. Now, since centripetal acceleration is given by equation V square over R, saya boleh define ataupun tuliskan equation centripetal force is equals to m v square over R. Now, the terms centripetal di sini, instead of the net force, the term centripetal means that the net force acted towards the center of circular of circular motion. Now, since centripetal force is not an actual force. Centripetal force ini boleh terhasil okay, disebabkan oleh apa-apa uh, juga force yang ada seperti tension. Okay. So, the net force could be contributed by the tension ataupun maybe friction atau juga boleh jadi dihasilkan oleh normal normal force ataupun apa-apa external external force push or push or pull towards an object so mari kita tengok contoh objek yang bergerak dalam circular motion let's take for example a ball whirling in a circle at the end of the string So, satu bola yang kita ikat dengan tali dan kita pusingkan bola itu. If I draw or identify a force on the ball, kita tahu bahawa there is a tension acted on the ball dan juga kita ada the weight of the ball is down, downward. Dalam kes ini, the force that along the radius is Only tension. 
So dalam kes ini, the centripetal force is contributed by the tension. Manakala, untuk kes a car moving in circular track, let's identify the forces acted on the car. We have the weight of the car, downward, normal force exerted by the surface of the road on the car is perpendicular uh, to the road. And we also have frictions. So dalam kes ini, friction ini bertindak untuk memastikan kereta ini tidak tergelincir keluar daripada ja jalan. The forces that acted along the radius is frictions. Therefore, the net force in this case is contributed by the friction. Mana kalau satu lagi example? Bagi moons orbiting the Earth, the only force that acted on the moon is the gravitational pull by the Earth. So, saya boleh cakap the centripetal force dalam kes ini adalah the gravitational force by the Earth on the moon. Now, centripetal force ataupun net force ini boleh terhasil daripada lebih daripada satu force. Dia boleh terhasil daripada combination of force. Itu sebabnya kita panggil net force, hasil tambah force. So, apa-apa pun, apabila kita nak menyelesaikan masalah berkaitan uh, centripetal force, kita perlu tengok the forces along along the radius of circular motion. Dalam video akan datang, kita akan selesaikan soalan yang berkaitan dengan circular motion dan juga centripetal force dan saya nak para pelajar semua perhatikan bahawa saya akan deal dengan forces that acted along the radius of circular motion. So, pelajar semua akan lebih memahami jika buat soalan. Itu sahaja untuk video kali ini. Sekian, terima kasih.